poussière of Ohio, wearing this beautiful chapeau but who's this caballero? The Emperor of the Far West, when he began his revolver, he can shoot a fly d'un seul geste. In the desert, there is person, never a coup de téléphone, he's a cowboy, poor and lonesome. Il n'a pas peur de personne. Pas surtout des Dalton. Il n'a pas peur de personne. Neil Coffin. The Undertaker Syndicate is very disappointed in you. Our profession has been making spadefuls of money lately. All over the Wild West, every time a wayward gunslinger gets shot down, our profits shoot up. Unfortunately, there's one town where nobody is kicking the bucket. Yep. That's Coffin Gulch, Barnaby. Your hometown where there hasn't been a single funeral in six months. Naturally, our syndicate is concerned about this. We want to know why folks have stopped popping off in Coffin Gulch. It's all because of Lucky Luke. Lucky Luke? That's right. He was hired to help out with the local cattle roundup. And when Lucky Luke comes to a town, the Grim Reaper isn't made to feel welcome anymore. <laughs> Sounds like this Lucky Luke has become a problem, but I know just the man to deal with him. Monday, I introduce Mortimer Deadflower. He's worked every funeral home from Tombstone to Dodge City. He's our best undertaker. None of my customers ever complain. <laughs> Oscar, stop looking so cheerful. Oh, what a killjoy. Tell me about Cuff and Gulch. Aren't there any feuds or grudges? Not even a fist fight now and then? Sure, there are fist fights, but they stay friendly. Hmm. Because of this lucky Luke, your market has flatlined. <laughs> Ever since he arrived in Cuff and Gulch, I haven't been selling any caskets. It's awfully distressing. Business is dead. Don't worry, Barnaby. We'll find a way to liven things up. Howdy! Good to see you. <laughs> what a disgustingly cheerful town this is. Yes, I know. Coffin Gulch is a nice place to live. Ah, when we're through, it will be an even nicer place to die. Ugh, there's a sudden chill in the air. For a town that's safe and clean, vote Bobby McBean. Uh, what do you think of my catchy campaign slogan? Hey, ain't that Mrs. Duckfeather? For a town that's safe and clean, vote Bobby McBean. In a few days, we'll Bobby be McBean. holding our election for election sheriff. Himself. Bobby's sure to be re-elected. He's the only candidate. For a town that's safe and clean, vote Bobby McBean. Great slogan, huh? A one-candidate race is deadly dull, but a two-candidate race could be deadly. <laughs> <laughs> if they realize they must depart. Well, around here, no one's in any hurry to leave. Whether they're in a hurry or not, I assure you they'll all go sooner or later. Even you, stranger. Mortimer Deadflower, allow me to introduce Lucky Luke. Luke, this is my colleague Mortimer Deadflower. He's visiting town to help me with the... Uh... Insufficient customer turnover. Let's have some refreshment, Barnaby. <laughs> Leo, wait outside. I like sitting up here in the fresh air. It's always so cramped down in the bar. You think that's cramped? Imagine being in a pine oh. box six feet under. A saloon is an excellent place to drum up a little business. 
<laughs> Say, is it just me? Or is it chilly in here? Howdy, Barnaby. How about a beer for you and your friend? No, we want tea. We have work ahead. Uh... Read them and weep. That's three of a kind. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not good enough. Full house. <laughs> if I'd have known better, I'd think you was cheating, Bill. <laughs> Barman, two rib steaks. They're on me. Coming right up. That's Bill Beefcoat and John Footmouth. They own the biggest ranches in the state. Here's your tea, gents. They don't seem to be working themselves to death. Speaking of death, how are you going to drum up business? By attracting some customers. Nothing could be simpler, my dear Barnaby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who drank my beer? He did. But I don't! You shouldn't have done that, Jerry! When pistols smoke, cowboys croak, so do what's right, use fists to fight. You see, he's always doing that. How very annoying. I see you enforce the law in this town. I just help keep the peace. Ah, the peace. What a restful word. But why don't I see a tin star pinned to your chest? Because I'm not the sheriff. You should be. Don't you agree? A man's right, Luke. You ought to run for sheriff. Yeah. Bobby's getting turned old and turned fat. <laughs> We're a town that's safe and clean for Bobby McBee. Let's run along, Barnaby. We have work to do. Imagine what an honor it would be to have the great Lucky Luke as sheriff. Why'd he say that? He likes bad jokes. Isn't it thrilling news that Lucky Luke is running for Sheriff of Coffin Gulch? Oh, hear that Lucky Luke. Word of mouth is excellent for publicity, Barnaby. But nothing beats a good poster campaign. You told me you were just a poor, lonesome cowboy. You told me you'd work on the roundup and move on. What hogwash! I have no idea who put up those posters. I don't want to hear your lies no more. Psst. You <laughs> just <laughs> Mister, that man says your face looks like a heifer's hindquarters. My face looks like a heifer's hindquarters. If you say so. Mm -hmm. Now calm down, fellas. When pistols smoke, you stay out of this, Luke. I'm not gonna let you horn in on my work. You've got it all wrong, Bobby. You want folks to think I can't handle the job, but I can, and if you don't mind your own business, I'll arrest you for impersonating a sheriff. Can we have less talk and more action? Oh, with Lavina! All this work has got me dead tired. Sure. Don't stop now, Barnaby. Business is about to heat up. I can feel it in my bones. Guess those two won't be needing your services. What a shame. I was planning to give them a two-for-one discount. But no matter, time is on my side. Don't be too sure about that. How's it going? 
Pretty good, John. The roundup's almost over. And from what I gather, you've already got your next job lined up. You're running for sheriff. Huh? Don't tell me you believe that. Sure, the whole town's buzzing with the news. I wonder why he chose the word buzzing. Eve, Barnaby, Eve! I'm trying, but this cow isn't very helpful. I'll fix that. <laughs> it's child's play. We steal a cow and put a false brand on it. Then all we have to do is wait for a ranch war to break out. A ranch war? But Mortimer, someone might get killed. That's a good thing. Sheriff <laughs> 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 McBean! Bill Beefcoat stole one of my cows! But, John, Bill's got plenty of cows. Why would he steal one of yours? Because he's a cheater and a thief. Just look it! <laughs> No, I'm not getting involved. You'll see, he put his brand right over mine. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. Fine, I'll go have one look, but that's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> Jolly, let's go for a ride. Just call me what I think you just called me? Yeah, I called you a low-down cheating cattle rustler. Now, fellas, there's no need for insults. Oh, yeah? Well, you're nothing but a vegetarian. <laughs> Ow. No man calls me a vegetarian. You're gonna regret those words. Fellas? We are in for stormy weather. Vultures are flying low. Your boss cheats at cards. And yours eats Brussels sprouts. Gang, let's make these jokers hit the deck! Beefco gang, we gotta throw all those rotten veggies in the trap! Hey, quit shooting! That's an order! No one seems to be listening. I'll try again later. Uh, I'm growing fond of this little town. Are you sure you're doing the right thing, Mortimer? Of course I am, Barnaby. Now it's time to do some advertising. Don't wait till the last moment. Buy your casket now on our handy layaway plan. Looks like business is shooting up. <laughs> By now, tomorrow could be too late. It was Mortimer's idea to build a whole lot of shiny new caskets. With plenty of ideas on how to fill them, I bet. Mm -hmm. I have to confess... Are you here for a fitting? Nope, I was only browsing. Feel free to come again. Them stop, look, or we'll be dead meat! Sorry, but Bobby's the sheriff. Cease and desist in the name of the law! We promised to elect you to the job, now do something quick! I'm not a candidate. Never seen such hopeless shots. I tell you, they should all be mortified. Okay, that does it. 
There ain't gonna be no more trouble in this town or I'll lose my temper. Do I make myself clear? Remember, for a town that's safe and clean, vote Bobby McBean. Bobby, I want you to arrest John Footmouth's men. They attacked my helpless employees. That's a lie. It's Bill Beefcoat's band of thugs you should be arresting. They opened fire on my poor innocent men. Bobby, if you don't handle this, then I will. I can't arrest anyone yet. First, I have to investigate and learn who started the fight. It, it was his game! Calm down, fellas. That's an old thing. looks like you're gonna be fine. What's going on? Hey, I'm in charge here. Um, I'll question some witnesses later this month. Forget it, Bobby. I'm running for sheriff, and I'm gonna arrest his gang myself. No, you ain't, because I'm running for sheriff, too, and when I'm elected, I'll intend to throw you and your men into jail, you... Oh. Oh, no. I don't feel comfortable about this. Thanks to us, those men will soon feel comfortable for eternity. I know what you're thinking, and I know you know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we can't let Mortimer Deadflower turn Coffin Gulch into one big graveyard. Are you with me, boys? We'll show no mercy to the footmouth gang, but we gotta be real nice to the voters of the town. Have no pity on Beefcoat's men, but give the townspeople a nice smile. Show me. Boss, do we have a program? Eh, uh, what? Seen it back east. It's a paper that a candidate hands out with stuff written on it. Is that so? Well, I've got something better than paper. Hold foot and mouth for sheriff and get your fresh grade A program here. He's handing out what? Well, I'll go one better with a prime rib program. Vote for Bill Beefcoat. He's got the tenderest program in town. It'll melt in your mouth. Got a potato program to go with my prime rib program? Beefcoat for sheriff. Vote for foot and mouth. How can I do business if the candidates are giving away beef? Try selling birds. There's a lot of them around. Need a hand? Vote for Beef Co. No, Foot Mouth's your man. Well, me. I saw her first. Here it is again, darling. Let go of me. Ma'am, please permit me to. What's this town coming to? Can't cross the street in peace anymore. This week only, all our caskets are 10% off and we'll throw in a wreath free of charge. We offer additional reductions for families and our group rates are to die for. Did Dead Flower put you up to this? Why, yes, he said that. Lucky Luke, look out! <laughs> ah! You just lost a customer, Barnaby, but you made a friend. No, Barnaby, your complexion is appalling. You're working too hard. Come and rest. Vote for John Footmouth! Beef coats, your man! Don't lose your nerve. Business is about to boom. Here, Luke. Take my badge. You're the only man that can put an end to this. I did my best, but now it's time to quit. Hang on, Bobby. Keep your badge. I never wanted to take it. Yeah, I heard you did. And who do you think started that rumor? <laughs> the Undertaker. Yep. I think it's time his scheming got laid to rest. and for all, John. 
Yes, we are, Bill. When me and my boys are done with you, you'll rest in peace. And may I recommend the understated elegance of our ranch style casket? When guns smoke, cowboys croak. That fellow has a knack for ruining social occasions. Hey, Luke! I told you I'm the only one who enforces the law in Coffin Gulch. You already tried, Bobby, and you failed. Now leave it to a professional. Don't make me arrest you. No one tells Lucky Luke what to do. Hey, you're interrupting our gunfight. Don't go for that six-shooter. Huh? This will be the most famous funeral in the country, Barnaby. You're one lucky stiff. No, not him. Not the only man who ever held his hand out to me. The only man who ever called himself my friend. Gone forever. <laughs> and it's all my fault. No, it's all his fault. Dead Flower's the one behind this. He wanted to start fights. He stole the cow. It was him. No, no, Barnaby. You mustn't let yourself be so sentimental. My only friend. Dead Flower cost me my only friend. Barnaby, please, you're staining my shirt. He's alive, but not for long. How'd I do? Come on, boys, let's get the charm feathers. I always knew you wasn't a cheetah, Bill. No, I never thought you was a vegetarian. Want to come over later for a juicy program? You bet I do. You'll never take me alive. Come on out of there. Forget it. You won't tar and feather me. That's a high security model. It locks from the inside with a dead bolt. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one thing to do. see no more vultures in Coffin Gulch. Yeah, apart from Oscar, of course. Come on, folks, let's celebrate with a barbecue. <laughs> hey, where's Lucky Luke? It's always the good ones who are the first to go. I'm a bold, lonesome cowboy. 